shines bright literally and figuratively on their old Kentucky home and the Big Blue Nation ready to get behind these Wildcats in this one. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and when you've got a team that makes it into the top 25, now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see the number 19 team in the country, the Kansas State Wildcats, taking on a team from the SEC, the Kentucky Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. takes this from inside the five. He's got great speed. He gets it up to the 35 before he's got... this offense with a fresh set of downs. Power football with the run. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. You want to settle everybody in on the road? You want to take the nerves away? run the football really really good job the offensive line they're physical and nasty they're not nervous they're not worried about this crowd getting loud they just want to hit you right in the mouth and they started the game off with some good physicality got enough for the first and he's bounced out of bounds but not before a very productive game you know as a defense you can have the right call and the right guy in the right spot but that guy's just too good. And how about the running back on that play? Just making it happen, breaking off the huge gain. It's tough to get these guys on the ground. Just steamrolling the defense. Just outstanding vision from the young freshman on that run. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. Right now, he's doing some damage on his defense. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. On the ground, it's Edwards. And they try the middle of this stout defense and they rise to the challenge. Kansas State pushing the pace. Wants to throw on third down. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. This offense has moved into plus territory, and they want to keep the heat on. They'll go for it on fourth down. The completion well past the sticks. Touchdown, Wildcats! What a grab and go for the score. Number one. I love the aggressive nature and the play column there. In the opening drive of the game, you have an opportunity on fourth down, obviously, to just kick a field goal, take the lead early, establish some momentum. Instead, they get aggressive. They go for it, and not just get it. They score a touchdown. Fielded in the end zone, it's Brown. Stopped at the 26, brought it out in the end zone, picked up an extra yard. Over. 
first down for this offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Got it behind the line. It's Cranham. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to them. I can try to create some space out wide, dump them the football, let them make some catches, and see if I can't get some big. And they're on him in a heartbeat, and down he goes. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. To the air, it's Vandergrift. He's going to throw deep right side. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. On fourth down, trying to find his man. He's not afraid to go deep. Snatches it on the right. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. It's reverse. At the 20, he's got space. They get him out of bounds, but a chunk play to wrap up the first quarter, and this offense will carry momentum into the second. Kansas State, 7. Kentucky, 0. Starting off this quarter, close enough to smell the goal line. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And you got to get locked in in the red zone. A lot of defensive coordinators will tell you, we'll give up yards, but we got to understand what we're trying to get accomplished. Great job down here near the goal line. This defense bowing their neck up and getting a big stop. Can the D deny them on second and goal? Quarterback wedging it in there on the quarterback sneak. And that was a nice second down run and setting up a third and inches. And now it's physical time, right? Like, they know you might run the football. You know you probably want to run the football. How can you be more physical? Sometimes bring some extra bodies, some extra tight ends in. Quarterback sneak for the touchdown. Well, you tried on first and second and you couldn't pay it off, so let's not overthink it. Let's just go quarterback sneak. Let's just let our guy get low, pick the side he wants to run to, drive his legs in for the touchdown. And the extra point is good. They put together an 81-yard drive. It was finished off with the quarterback sneak. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's Johnson. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. If you like old-fashioned, grind it up, run over in football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. Man. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. Going to run it. It's Giddens. Got the first down. Looking for more. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They move the chains. They mark it at the 29. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that one play to pick up the first. It's now second down. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Johnson looking to throw. This time he's got it. Smashes through the tackle. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Ready? 
And the Wildcats getting set on first and ten. He wants to throw. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Oh, he gave him the limp leg. They get him on the ground at the 37, but give him 15 yards on that chunk play, and they'll move the chains. They'll throw it on first down. Makes the grab. It's Giddens. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. They'll run play action. Unloads to the wideout. The flag flies in as this one falls incomplete. We'll see who it's on. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. And they'll come to the line with less than a yard to go. He's looking for a man on second down. This time on target. Oh, there might have been trouble if they hadn't knocked him down so quickly. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. He'll just keep slinging it. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. Less than a yard to go for a first down and the offense will remain on the field. On fourth down, going to the air. The incomplete pass ends a frustrating series, and they turn it over on downs. Well, they're unable to come up with that one on fourth down. And I remember this as a player. You practice specific plays on fourth down for those types of situations. And you know all week against the scout team, they've gotten really clean looks, easy to execute against. They didn't get a clean look that time. So you chalk it up to the defense and take note of it next time. You might not run that. Throws into double coverage, and it's picked off. Got room on the return. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. What a nice catch by the defensive back. Listen, a lot of times you see DBs get in position to make plays, but there's a reason they play DB and not wide receiver. Great job finishing the interception, catching the ball, making a big play. Looking for a huge play. And the pass is complete. He's got it at the 20. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Just inside the red zone, first and 10 from the 19. Looking to move it through the air. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. And the incompletion brings up a second down. Johnson wants to throw it. Incomplete. He had to get rid of it before he wanted to. The defense put the heat on. This is going to be a key that we look at this entire game. How can this defense find ways to affect this quarterback and get pressure on him? Because they felt coming into the game, if they could do that, they could affect him and influence this passing game. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Oh, he missed it. No good. But a flag is down on the field, so hold on. Let's see. And guys, this is very frustrating for a defense. They forced the field goal attempt, and now right back on the field after the roughing the kicker. Ready? 
He'll set up to throw. Got it. And he's down after making the catch, but did not reach the line to gain. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. On second down, looking to throw. And he can't find his man in the end zone as he was trying to pay off this red zone chance. Bad news on that play, it's an incompletion. The good news is the quarterback knew if his guy wasn't going to catch it, nobody was with that ball raining out of bounds. Quarterback adapted. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. That makes the score Kansas State. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. Bringing it up. Ripping through the defense. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Got a little room. There he goes. Open it up. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Kentucky. No guts, no glory. Caught it in the end zone. Didn't hesitate for a millisecond to take that thing back. And boy, did it pay off. And this is why kickoff returns are so exciting. There's so much space between you and the other team flying down the field. The only time you can provide that much space, and you can tell he knew what to do with that space. Kicked on the Jets by Felicia. And he tacked on the extra point. Kansas State will kick off as we get things started here in the third quarter. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Paul? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. This defense is heating up. They got an interception the last possession. You could tell breaking on the football really, really well. Seeing where the quarterback's throwing it. Going to try to get it. Got another hand on it. Almost had another interception. He's got it this time. Nice pitch and catch there. And they'll have enough for the first down. This Kentucky offense really moving the ball quickly. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Looking to pass, it's Vandergrift. Fires complete on the crosser. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40 and it's a first down. The Wildcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. On second down, he'll let it fly. Looking down the middle. And the incomplete pass was just too hot to handle. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. They keep attacking through the air. Rolls it in. Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the chains. It's first down at the 27. New set of downs after that completion. They'll try to pop the draw. 
They make the stop, give him three yards on the carry. Ball's at the 24. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Quick handoff. Instead, heating through the defense. They get him on the ground, but not before he rumbles all the way to the five. What a big-time run for this offense. A physical run, getting down, almost scoring the touchdown. Yeah, and considering how well they're running here right now, why wouldn't you just hand it off to this guy right here again? Quick strike complete. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. When offense starts to get inside the five, defensively, I get more and more aggressive. I get closer and closer to my guy. I got to understand that ball comes. Touchdown, Wildcats! And that one will give him the lead. They just took the air out of that thing. That might be an understatement. They took the ball away and just wore down, just grinded away at that defense. It took a lot of time off the clock in the process as well. I'm impressed with the physicality up front of this offense because that's where it all starts. If you're going to march the ball down the field like they just did, you've got to be dominating in the trenches, and they are doing that in this game right now. He gets a block. He's on the loose. Can they catch him? He will score! Touchdown, Wildcats! He just took it the entire length of the field, end to end, coast to coast, nationwide for the touchdown. And how about the fans in the stands going, no, 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 take a knee, take, no, yes, 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 yes. Over 100 yards for the kickoff return. Nice job taking that the end zone, making a huge play. And the extra point was made without incident, and we're tied up here in the third. So that one will put his name in the record books. You can't have a longer return in college football. 100 yards for six. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Oh, he's going to go for the return. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's why recruiting is so... Open runway ahead. He's at the 40. The 20. Pass the 10. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Kentucky. Quick strike touchdown comes out and jump starts the offense. Man, we see this in college football. So much explosiveness and firepower. And we get high scoring game after high scoring game. It looks like we're on pace for one of those right now. And the extra point makes it a 28 21 score. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinator. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. Here he comes from inside his own five. There to make the tackle, and with that, we'll head to the fourth quarter. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Johnson looking to throw. It's caught. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Kansas State quick to the line. He'll come out throwing on first down. Just too much mustard on that one. Can't miss the target that badly. Well, the good news is he did a nice job reading the coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football that time. Just a little bit too much on that pass. You wonder if that's just nerves. He's got to settle himself down a little bit. He'll off one deep down the left side. And it's incomplete going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. Well, the defense didn't get caught napping there. In this situation, you know they have to stay alert for the deep ball. Yeah, so what defense am I going to call? I'm going to keep some DBs back deep. I'm going to keep my safety a little bit deeper. Understanding they're down. They're going to have to attack down the field. I'm going to stick to my passing sets, my nickels, my dimes. 
Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Across the 25, he's got room. And after gobbling up some serious yardage and showing off those wheels, he's finally out of bounds. And guys, if they can make their way into the end zone, we'll have a tie game in the fourth, and the stage will be set for a great finish. They want to throw it. Quarterback extends the play. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. And I really like the decision by the quarterback there. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State! This running back was not going to be denied. Nice blocking up front to create a hole for this running back, and he was able to take advantage. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And no problem on that extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. They march 78 yards down the field, and they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. Boy, that last touchdown, the one-play quick strike scored. Jesse, this offense, hoping to keep that kind of explosiveness going. I don't know if they're going to get the same looks defensively because of just how explosive that play was, Reese. David, they may be seeing a little bit more uh, off coverage on this drive and maybe some softer boxes to run into. And when you make that kind of explosive play, you're going to put the defense on its heels. They're going to be a little bit more conservative. So this offense approach now, maybe I don't have to go deep. I can go a little bit shorter and just make those easy plays underneath. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. The clock has stopped as we have reached the two-minute warning here in the ballgame. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. He's going to pass. Grab behind the line. It's Trainum. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. They were able to make the completion, but he had to pick his way for just a little bit. Needed a little more help to spring him for some yardage. Yeah, if you're going to have success when you throw it outside like... More blocking and better blocking downfield. Give the defense credit, though. They were able to rally and made a tackle. After the short completion, it's now second down. Looking downfield, it's Vandergrift. And this is hauled in at the 20-yard line. Touchdown, Kentucky! And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. What a great game. Tied late the ball game. Who's going to make the big play? They come up with it late. Take the lead. Nice execution. It's hard to execute in these moments. People get tight. The score is tied late in the game. I don't want to mess up, but this offense doesn't worry about messing up. They put the ball in the end zone and take the lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Johnson. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. They'll throw it on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Johnson. Powers through. 
just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling there out to the 35. The defense needs to have a plan for this guy. They weren't ready for that one. Drag route running all the way across the field. And the DB just can't stay with them because of his speed. And as a result, they give up a big one. Fires left. Makes a connection. And he gets the first down. But man, did he get the hit stick laid on his noggin. Off the play fake on first down. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch Most important part of a clutch drive, piece together some first downs, get in position, and here they are on first and ten. Fires deep toward the end zone. He makes a grab. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. What a beautiful throw and catch. And I'll tell you, sometimes when you're throwing the go route, you can overanalyze things and think, what coverage do we want it against? What matchup are we looking for? But if I've got a guy outside that I know can go make a play, I don't care. I'm throwing it up, and I'm letting him go make a play. Trying to punch it in. He's dropping behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. Johnson wants to throw it. Looking to the end zone. And the pass is caught for a touchdown. And it looks as if we could be headed to overtime. And they desperately needed that touchdown. Now it's miracle time. We got to kick this onside kick and somehow find a way to boot a long field goal and maybe win this thing at the buzzer. He's got it. They convert the two and they take the lead here in the fourth. Kansas State. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Number 17. Set to kick this one away. He'll call for the fair catch here. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Now in the waning seconds, Jesse, you put yourself in position to pull this one out. And there's a chance this may come down to the kicker, guys. So which hash mark does he like to kick from the best? you got to play call this to give your guy the best chance to make his kick. And how much confidence do I have in him? You know, what's his range? All those things come into account. And how aggressive you want to be maybe going towards the end zone versus a field goal. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Right back to the air on second and ten. And he's got it inside the 15-yard line. Touchdown, Wildcats! And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. Man, what a great job by this offense executing down the field, using all of the clock, being smart, getting the big score late, and I think that one should do it. What a game. What a finish. Came down to one last play, and they get it done. What a play to show up in that moment of the game and make that type of play, that type of individual effort is just magic, Dave. No doubt. It's, it's what you dream about, but those moments, you have to step up and make it, and big-time players like this come up and make a big-time play late in the game to get you the win. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, Dave Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.